Welcome everybody to August's Mission Inspiration. I set the theme and the prompts for this month and I have chosen travel and transport. And the words for inspiration are flight, tracks, map, destination and world and the colour combination are earth brown, sky blue and daffodil yellow. So, I'm going to turn it overhead and let's make a start. Okay, okay, so I'm using um, a sheet of um, 8x8 watercolour card from my journal. And I found, it's surprising what you find when you have a good tidy up. I found this map um, and I picked it um, because it's um, monochrome, black and white. And it fits, would you believe, it just fits on that page really nicely. So I've got to glue that down. I've got this um, stencil. Uh, it's the journeyings from um, Imagination Crafts and I want to put that there. I've die cut out this world um, in black card and I've used, um, I'm not sure which make that is. This is again from Imagination Crafts, this is um, a die and what I've done is I've die cut this and I've stamped over it but I've not done it kind of dark I've kind of done it so it's faded so it gives it that kind of vintagey look and that's going to go there that's going to go there and then I'd sort other things out um, so that's that I'm going to use the colours <coughs> are um, flight tracks map destination world um, and I've got earth brown sky blue and daffodil yellow travel transport so this is going to be a ticket to ride is what I'm going to call this page and um, so what I want to do is uh, I've got sorry I've sidetracked I'm using cadence as as I always do and I've got this um, kind of like a baby blue which is as near to sky blue as I've got I've got yellow I've got light brown which is like a um, very pale earth brown I've got some gold wax and I've got a touch of um, cadence distress paste so and um, I'm going to first thing I want to do is just glue this to this so let's see. So I'm just going to come on. I tell you what, put it on here. Oh, it's not. It's not doing very well, is it? Right. Okay. So you want to brush? Put it up. Get this done first, get this down and um and that so it sticks hopefully. The nice thing I like about this is because any excess I can just put back in the pot, but I need to make sure that it's really nice and thick, especially on the ends. Right, let's put this back in the pot now. Been for a nice, uh, nice, nice walk this morning with Rick. Um, si since Rick has retired now, what we've decided to do to keep active is we go out for a walk, um, more or less five out of seven days, which is good. It keeps us active. Right, so that's that done. And we're really lucky we've got we live near a canal so they're all different paths so we can um, do a different pathway every every time 
we do have our favourites, but there we go. That's that. Looks cool, doesn't it? So I just want to wipe that over. Yeah, so as I was saying, there are, we've got a lot of different paths that we can take on the canal. Um, so it's really nice and it's happening. Uh, my best friend came on Friday and we went and had um, went for a walk as well, which was nice. It was a nice hot day, so we were a bit hot and sweaty, but hey ho, that's part of <laughs> walking, isn't it? So, right, got my structure paste. So, what I want to do, I'm just going to give this a quick glass with the heat gun. just going to punch the hole Them out the way, so I'll go and get them. So, next, I'm going to put this on. Um, or am I? No, I'm not. First off, I'm going to give this a colour wash with the blue. Giving it a quick just so I've got something down. So I'll give that a quick blast. Okay, so what I want to do is I'm going to use some structure paste with um, my paint because I want a bit of texture to it and I found this is a really nice way of adding getting texture. So shake my thing and then I'm just going to mix it. Do is I'm going to stipple it on. I'm not going to use my spatula, I'm just going to stipple it on. So I want this here like this. So I'm going to put some on my put some on my brush and take it off. 
so I've put some on and taken it off and then I'm just going to stipple through the stencil I've left the top because I'm going to do that with yellow because obviously it's a light bulb isn't it so I thought I could use the yellow on that do now is I'm going to do this compass. Does it look like a compass? No it doesn't. Oh well, let's just, I don't want it all on. I'm just going to put a bit on. Stamping, I think. Um, let's see if there's anything that I like that I could do with stamping. Mm, there isn't really. whether to just stamp some words or do you know what I think I might do? I might stamp a ticket all around just for some uh, oops surprising what you find isn't it? That said bus ticket Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is there any other type of No, that's just going to have to do. I'm using rare, rare earths. I just thought we could stamp around the page. that. Now what I want to do is 
before I start putting anything on, what I'm going to do is I'm going around the edge with my brush. With my stipple brush with what's left of the brown, just to bring it all in. I do like it when I'm stenciling what I've started, you know, if I don't want to um, just cover the whole, you know, just when I'm stenciling, if I don't want to use the structure paste and then when that's dry colour over it, what I've started to do, especially for journal pages, uh, is to add the colour that I want to my structure paste, which gives it texture but also doesn't take as long to dry and it kind of um, kills two birds with one stone if you understand what I'm saying and um, there we go so that's that um, so I'm going to give that a quick blast with the heat gun I know that is going to go there, that's going to sit on there like that, but I'm not sure where to put, mm, I think I might put that there like that, we'll have the ticket there, I think I'll put the ticket there, I might just have one ticket actually, um, scissors, so I'm just going to cut that down. That'll come in for another project, I think. Yeah, I think I'll just add one ticket. Put that there like that. That, I want to use some of this vintage brown. Um, let me just see. And I'm just going to what I'm going to do is I'm just going to distress this. Coloured it. I quite like that. Nice. Right, so let's get this on. So I'm going to use my magic bond. Ooh. I'm going to stick these on. So I think I need to. My favourite wet glue this is, my magic bond. Whoops, that wasn't clever. Shoot. Hmm, maybe I'll just put that there. Maybe that's where it wanted to go. the 
the earth done. I don't know where where I got this. It's in my stash. Just going to place that on there. It's been quite quiet this this uh, not being as chatty with you all. I hope you're enjoying um, the prompts for the mission inspirations uh, journal pages. Um, Rick, uh, Mike and I have been talking about next year what we plan on doing next year it's always good to forward planning so to speak i've not spoken to mike this week how i've not been i've not been well this week so i've not spoken to nearly anybody to be honest i spent Last weekend in bed, I just wasn't well at all. So, I'm going to call this, as I said, a ticket to ride. So, I want to date and sign it first. So, it's Mission Inspiration 8th, 2020. Sign it, Linda with a nice smiley face and then I'm going to call it a ticket to ride here we go that's my uh, journal page done my mission inspiration is um, mission completed uh, I hope you've enjoyed and um, hmm, I have enjoyed creating it I, I enjoyed doing the prompts I must admit I've, I've been enjoying pro doing the prompts every other month and I really look forward to seeing what you create with your with the prompts and um, that's all from me for for today. Happy crafting, everybody! Have a nice um, have a nice week, whatever. Have an, till next time. Happy crafting. Bye bye.